Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to look at how to call Microsoft Power Automate flows from inside business process flows. Let's do it. So let's take a look at business process flows in Dynamics 365 and see how we can add in these Power Automate flows. So if we go to a lead, let's create a new lead and we'll take a look at the business process flow that is running on this lead. So I'm going to click new here and we can see across the top, um, this is the business process flow. So a business process flow will guide a user uh, to enter in data into a record. And we can see here um, we have the qualified, develop, propose and close. So these are called stages and within each stage, um, we have these different fields that are um, we're guided to fill in and these are these are called steps so a user is uh, guided through this process um, when they're entering in a new lead we can see this first stage is called qualify and so it's basically telling us let's qualify this lead we'll enter in this information and once we're done we'll be prompted to go on to the next stage let's look at how we can use power automate flows inside this process so to customize a business process flow, you go to flow.microsoft.com. So let's log in. And if we click on My Flows, and of course confirm you're in the right org, we see business process flows. So let's click on business process flows. And we can see the lead to opportunity sales process. So this is the one that was running when we were creating a new lead in the system. Let's click to open it. And now we're in the business process flow designer. And we can see across the top here, we have the same qualify, develop, propose, and close stages. And if we select a stage, we can see that they, this stage has multiple steps within it. So this matches up to what we were seeing when we were creating a new lead. So over here on the right, in the components tab, we see that there is a new flow step. And make a note, it is in preview, okay? So if we want to use this flow step, we can simply drag this into our stage and into the steps so we can see here it's created a new step um, you know you can move this around we'll move this right to the end here of the steps um, so it'll be the final step and here we can give it a name and a sequence and select the flow so if I go to select the flow um, it gives me a list of flows that are available in the system and if I click look up more records it'll give us a better view of what's actually available. So let's take a step back and let's cancel this and let's look at how to create one of these flows. So let's go back over to uh, our flow.microsoft.com, click on solutions. And I'm going to open up a flow that I created earlier, this fetch XML example. And within this solution, I have this flow. It's called button to list records. Let's click to open it. And let's go and edit this flow. And let's just go over this real quick. So this flow is manually triggered. Um, we are going to get a list of records, which are going to be accounts in our, this is the common data service connector. I looked at this in a previous video. I'll put the link in the description below. So this is basically grabbing accounts, uh, the top 50, um, where the revenue is greater than a million dollars using fetch XML. And once that's done, we're going to throw those results into a HTML table and we will um, display two columns. One is the name and the other one is the revenue that we'll get back from our retrieve query. And then we will uh, send this information in an email to a user. Okay, so that's our flow. It's very simple. So let's go ahead and select this flow to be used in our business process. So if we go back to our business process flow, we can select the flow again and I'm just going to select it from this list and I actually have two with the same name but I know it's this one here so I'm going to select this one and click add. All right so now um, we have this flow configured for this flow step. I'm just going to give this a name. I'm just going to call it um, call flow and we will apply it and once that's done, let's um, validate that this is looking good and let's just update it. So now this is saving the business process flow 
and this should be available for when we go back into a lead and run this. All right, so now let's test this out. Let's go back into D365, and we are going to refresh this page, and this will pull down the latest business process flow. Okay, so the page is loaded. Now if we click on Qualify, we see that we actually do have this new call flow with a run flow button here. So if I tried to click on this, it's actually not available yet. Um, so what I need to do is I need to enter in this information and we'll do this and then we will save this lead record and we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to select some information here and let's enter in some fields and we will um, enter in a summary and let's go and save this lead and of course we have to provide a topic let's call it new lead okay we'll go and save this lead and now that that's saved, let's go back into this stage in the business process flow. And we see that the run flow button is now available. So let's click on the run flow button to run this flow. And we will get this pop up. And now we have the option to run the flow. So let's click run flow. And this is done. So the flow has started successfully. And if we click on the C run the flow run activity, it will take us back to flow.microsoft.com and we'll be able to see if the flow succeeded or not. This is an optional step. So we see that it succeeded. If we click on it, this is basically just telling us that every step in this Power Automate flow has successfully finished. And so now if we actually went into our email, we should get an email because that was the last step. So if I go into Outlook, we see that this new email has been received as a result of the flow. So that's it. That's all you have to do to run Power Automate flows from inside business process flows in Dynamics 365. Hope you enjoyed. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.